Brent Scarpo remembers his Christmas miracle, 1969, Warren, Pennsylvania. I think my favorite Christmas was when I was a very little boy. I was about six. My parents, unfortunately, had uh, quite a divorce. And my mother found herself challenged with the idea of having to raise three kids completely by herself. She didn't have a job, no formal education, and, and really no money. So my mother was trying to figure out how she was going to tell the three people she loved most in life that Santa, for whatever reason, just didn't make it. She decided to take a walk to try to figure this out. And uh, she went outside, and it was one of those kind of brisk, wintry Pennsylvania winters, and it was snowing lightly, and she found herself at the neighborhood playground. And she uh, brushed off the snow from the swing and sat down, and she began to cry. She looked towards the sky and, and just said a prayer. It was at that time that she said that so this warm feeling just started to generate from within. Well, the next thing I knew, she was waking us up. And she told us to get on our coats and our jackets and our mittens and that she had a really big surprise for us. She had swept off these two steps out in the front porch outside and laid a blanket down and asked us to sit down. And she went back into the house. And soon after, she came out with this big tray of hot chocolate and Christmas cookies. She knelt before us, and I noticed that she had been crying. And she said, um, she said she only had one Christmas gift for us that year, and that it was a very special gift, and that she couldn't wait to give it to us, and that's why she woke us up. So she said, I want you to close your eyes, she goes, I want you to do exactly what I tell you. So we closed our eyes, and she was going to count with me. So we counted. One, two, three. She said, look up towards the sky and open your eyes. And we opened our eyes, and I saw the most beautiful blanket of stars that I've ever seen in my life. Twinkling, I mean thousands of them. And we looked at my mother, and she said, this is your Christmas gift. All the stars that heaven has to offer. She said, each star is unique and different, just like each of you. She said, I love you very much. And then she said, if you look around your neighborhood, she said, nobody else is getting stars for Christmas. And I looked. I looked at all my friends' homes, and she was right. We were the only ones out that night. And my mother gave us a big hug and told us that she loved us very much and said that she would always be there for us, just like the stars. That was my favorite Christmas.